Hi, everybody. This is Sophia Mona Lisa of the Golden Ray Center and the Roseville Mystery School. And I'm excited to give you some insight into my new video journal called Rebirthing Our Body Wisdom. And that has to do with what's going on today, July 17th, with the new moon in, in Cancer that's creating a cardinal grand cross in the sky. And part of that cardinal grand cross includes the Aries Libra axis, where also today the North Node is making its ingress from Taurus to Aries at that 29 degree Aries spot. And of course, as the North Node moves into Aries, the South Node moves into Libra and together they are activating that pathway for conscious equal partnership. And so the Cardinal Grand Cross is all about initiating and beginning things. And it also includes this frequency that has to do with the will to accomplish something and often something new. And so what I've been discussing related to new moons in general is that they're a time to plant seeds. And whether it's a creative project or a new business or whatever it is that you want to get off the ground, uh, you can use the new moon energy for that. But as far as I'm concerned, what I'm looking at are what are the new fields of consciousness that new seeds are being planted around. And it just so happens that with this new moon in Cancer, there are three fields of consciousness that the seeds are being planted for. And so we talk about those three fields of consciousness within this video. Now, uh, this is the chart for the new moon in Cancer. And you can see we've got the new moon across from Pluto and Capricorn. We've got the north node across from what you don't see here is the south node and Yeshua making that cardinal grand cross because we're engaging the frequencies of Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So I talk about that in depth, and I also talk about in depth this trine, this path of most allowance from the conjunction between Venus, the sacred feminine, and Epona, the Celtic heart goddess that are standing here just three minutes uh, 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 away from each other. So about the, the width of an eye flash, he, uh, eyelash here in the sign of Leo, which is a fire sign, trining down here to the north node in Aries, fire sign. So I go into that as well. Now, I talk about how this new moon and part of the, the uh seeds that are being planted in terms of new fields of consciousness has to do with the fact that each of those elements, uh, which are represented here, Libra is air, Aries is fire, Cancer is water, Capricorn is earth. Each of those elements are an integral part of helping us to establish conscious equal partnership with our body consciousness and the wisdom that's available to us in that consciousness field. And I also talk about some horse medicine that's related to that Venus Epona conjunction that's trining the North Node as the path of least resistance for how it is that we can engage these new fields of consciousness that are being uh, seated for us at this time. Now, normally when I talk about the horse medicine available to us through this Oracle deck, Way of the Horse by Linda Kohenov, I refer a lot to the lion heart wisdom. And this is the card for the lion heart wisdom. And these pictures for the cards were all painted by Kim McElroy. So I talk about the lion heart wisdom uh, in, 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 the, in the video. I also talk about the shamanic medicine and the wisdom that's available to us through these cards, the out of body card, the bonfire card, and the messenger card. 
big medicine coming to us from that Venus Epona conjunction to the North Node that you're really going to want to be aware of that is really a significant part of us rebirthing this relationship with our body wisdom, with that body consciousness field. And so I also talk about my experiences with being reconnected uh, and uh, to the universal source light um, and some of the manifestations that have been reported by Dr. Eric Hurl, who wrote the book, The Reconnection. Uh, and these are some of the experiences that his practitioners have experienced from this universal source light after having been reconnected that connects us to not only the planetary grid, but the stellar grid and the and the um, sensations that I've highlighted here are the sensations that I've personally experienced by being uh, reconnected. And I talk about the different uh, catalysts in my life that that initiated this reconnection and that amplified this this uh, reconnective energy in terms of how I was experiencing the manifestation of that. So that's really, really empowering because what I also share is that at this new moon, we are being reconnected. We're being reconnected to the planetary grid as a part of this establishing or rebirthing our relationship with our body wisdom and how at the full moon in Aquarius on August 1st, we will be reconnected to that stellar grid. So I encourage you to join my Patreon. It's uh, the Roseville Mystery School. And uh, there you can see all of the videos that I've done as my July creative energies video where I initially talk about this new moon and then of course this video where I go into a deeper dive around the new moon all of that's going to be really significant for you to be aware of so I hope you'll join me over there on patreon become a patron at the first tier level it's eleven dollars a month and I've got all kinds of valuable content available for people that are interested in engaging their ascension process, their evolutionary expansion. So thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.